the love in the eyes of the kid that was lost and it turned to a rebel. Mama don't give up on me, I'm a rebel. What do you guys, is a very family on YouTube, the V Crew. It's your boy Ruben here, back with another video. So this is gonna be video number two from the last video I just posted, guys. Um, I got a little paper right here that I'm reading off because I got some notes that I want to talk about in this video. So I want to start talking about the comments in the comment section. I usually don't pay no mind to it, but this is one that says there's so many holes in her story that, you know, how, why do we believe her? And as well as we make no sense. So in other words, I make no sense. All right, guys, let's get into that little comment. Um, one, how would you know there's holes into her story if you weren't directly involved and as well as you're not in their inner circle. So you can't really say there's holes in her story for stuff that has happened to her off camera. Of course, he's not going to record it and film it if it was any type of abuse, whether hitting or whatever it may be. That's never going to make it on camera. So, of course, you're not going to know what's really going on. And when you said that she was being coached, okay, yeah, I can see that. An adult is going to coach their child on what they can and can't say online as well as this is how they make their money off of their name and off of themselves. They are their own product. So, of course, the mom is not going to want her to say certain things online um especially if it's an open investigation it's an open case and the another thing i want to bring up on how that's true and not fake is because cj said it himself cj so cool said it in one of his videos that yeah i got or actually i think he posted it i'm not sure but i remember him putting it saying and i quote he has lawyers dealing with it and that they're winning so in other words he has lawyers involved in that. So that shows that it is an open case and they're right now fighting it. Um, now, I'm not sure if it's for the abuse. I'm not sure if it's for something else. You know, I just know that they do have an open case on them. Uh, there was another point in time where my last video, as you guys saw, that they have an open CPS case on them. So that might be dealing with that. Um, another person also put uh, time... I guess it's time someone tells a true story and I report it as I see it guys. So I'm not making none of this stuff up. If you look at my channel, I don't do this drama stuff, but the reason I'm reporting on this is because the reason I started YouTube was because of CJ on 32s. And when I see someone that I'm, that, that I've met and someone that I look up to getting their name dragged, that's not cool. I don't play that. That's not right. So CJ, I, I, we're going to get into this video right now, but CJ on 32 states that He's done with the drama. He doesn't want nothing of it. He doesn't do that for his channel to get clout and views. He had ample amount of opportunity and chances to make a huge deal of certain things and he did not because he doesn't like that. That's not his channel. CJ So Cool, on the other hand, he's always into some type of drama. He's always doing something. He's dramatic. He's, he's out there. I mean, that's how he makes his money. So, hey, cool. But this plays into why I think that CJ So Cool, a lot of the stuff he's saying and doing is for clout and majority of it's not true is because that's the type of person he is so guys let's get into it what i'm gonna talk about especially right now is the two videos i'm gonna put clips up about three no four or five clips up of both cjs cj on 32 stating that he doesn't want nothing of it he's, he's done he's not gonna talk about it on uh youtube anymore there's there's actually a comment on there that states once he released that video, did all that, he did not know that CJ So Cool Mom has said something about him of getting R-A-P-E-D in prison. And CJ's like, nah, like he don't play that. He's from the streets and stuff. So that's something you don't say. She's out of pocket on that one. She needs to chill out. Well, uh, that's one point I wanted to talk as well as CJ So Cool. He went on a video posting about CJ saying um that cj's fake cj on 32s is fake because apparently they didn't like each other him and royalty and then now that um sorry i lost track um talking that like how they weren't friends and then they were friends and all this other stuff uh that cj on 32s is fake because he didn't want to help cj so cool elevate or help him out with a raffle and all this other stuff i mean if you're the one who knew how to do it all why are you relying on someone else to do stuff for you actually so there's a couple people i'm going to bring into this video bang man kevo blake 100 bake 100 i keep saying blake bake 100 and cj's mom so bang man kevo pretty much outs 
CJ so cool on a lot of this stuff, especially with CJ so cool saying, like, oh, he wants to be on top. He wants to be no. Bam Man Kevil says opposite, that it's CJ so cool that's acting like that, that he's always been like that, where if you get something, he wants to be uh, better or he wants to get something better. Um, or when you get something new, he wants it or he buys multiple of it. So he's always trying to like outshine, outshow a lot of his inner circle, which is crazy to me. To me, that's like fake. That's that's being like a, a low key hater on. Oh, man, you got that car. That's dope. You know what? I'm gonna buy three of them. Like, what's the point of doing that? That's crazy to me. To me, that's fake. And I don't I don't mess with people like that. So let's get into it, guys. I'm reading off a paper because I got uh, points of what I want to speak on. So, yeah, forget all the comments and stuff. We're done with that part. We're going to get into the video. I'm going to post these couple of videos of what CJ on 32 said that he didn't want or he doesn't want anything of it. He doesn't feel great about outing him on some of the stuff that he's he stated. Um, and he did release this video before even knowing that uh, CJ So Cool Mom said that stuff about him. So he says a little thing in the comments where he's dumb saying stuff on YouTube, but he's going to say a lot of stuff. He's going to out him again on Instagram. Uh, CJ So Cool goes on about saying all that with CJ being fake, as well as the jeweler. I want to get into that, guys. He said the jeweler stated... Or this jeweler told CJ on 32s a bunch of stuff about CJ So Cool. CJ So Cool is mad about it because he also tried to out the jeweler for giving him fake jewelry. Dude, you got to understand, when you buy jewelry, it depreciates. It's not like these watches. It's not where they hold their value, if not increase. Jewelry, bro, all they're going to do is melt it down and get it. You're going to get the weight of the gold or whatever type of, of quality you get. So you're going to... They depreciate like crazy. So for you to say it was fake because you got less money is beyond me even i know that and i ain't rich so yeah he, he kind of outs also ali i think is his name he has a shop in grapevine a jeweler um that the jeweler told cj on 32s a bunch of stuff about him that was supposed to be private between them um there's no conf what's it called a uh, uh, confidentiality between you he's a jeweler this is not a therapist bro get it right um so yeah i mean it is wrong and i think it's weird but at the end of the day, he doesn't owe no loyalty to you. He makes money off anybody. He's a jeweler. Uh, you got to expect that. Stop telling all your information to everybody. How about that? To only people that you trust, um, that you really know. So, yeah, guys, that's one of the things I want to post. So, you're going to see those videos right now. I'm about to put the clips in. Crazy. I'll be right back. Two or three days. And y'all know some things happen. And I'm past it now. Um, I, I don't have my mother, so I would never disrespect nobody else's mother. Um, no matter what they say, I don't know. I don't know his mom. Never met her. Never heard nothing about her. And she can say the worst of the worst. I would never disrespect nobody's mom. Um, I don't have mine. You know, I'm just left with memories. So... I don't care what a person's mother saying about me who don't know me, never met me. All she can, all she know about me is word of mouth. Um, so that's here nor there. That's a conversation and a situation that I'm not gonna have, guys. <laughs> about nothing on no day given um, anybody like can't put me like add in when I'm talking about one person trying to add somebody else in there about what used to be or you used to have problems with you ain't do this or that er everything that I do is gonna be for a reason and they gotta be worth the reason and I'm just I, 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 why would I be happy about having to say some shit I didn't want to say and I ain't even really say nothing like I, I held back held back 80% of the stuff that I was going to say or that I could have said that I wasn't going to say but I could have said it because I ain't trying to bring nobody down bro I know how that shit feel like I told y'all it ain't a good feeling even though I made the video and said what I had to say because I got tired of it, it ain't like I'm happy about it so um, I'm just I'm moving forward from that and I'm going to continue to do what I do but like I said about the smart car I called him, he didn't have nothing to say. I texted him, he didn't want to reply. But then he made a video. So I know what it is. I know he's doing it for clout. That's why I said on my little post in the community that this is just a friendly clout battle. 
I thought he was trying to help me promote my new channel, but realistically, I see he doesn't want me to have a new channel. He doesn't want me to be successful. He's one of those people you help grow, and then they want to keep you down so that everyone just looks at them and they don't ask or question how they got successful or what inspired them. They just look up to him. I understand. You love the feeling of being idolized. But guess what? I've always been idolized, and I never wanted to be. I've always just wanted to give back, help people, right? Now, of course, you say you help people too. So I'm not gonna even say what you do or don't do. I'm just specifying on what I do, all right? And what I have done. So to go back to the video I made about me not posting on CJ So Cool anymore and exposing myself, all I said was when I reached out to him and apologized to him and held accountability to him, his response was weak to me. Cause his response was no response, literally. I reached out to him, told him everything. Hey bro, I'm finna start a new page, I'm finna go up. I've been motivated, bro. Like, I was going out sad, and now I'm not. I know who I am. I got this. All I wanted was a little hype me up. You know what I'm saying? My friend to say, oh, yeah, you definitely got this, bro. Come on, man. Let's get it, bro. Finally, this is the talk I want to hear from you. I ain't get that from him. So I said that was weak because knowing me, if my friend reached out to me and said, hey, I've been battling depression. No, not my friend. Someone who's a brother to me. Someone who's helped me out multiple times, right? They come to me and tell me the same thing I told him. I'm not even thinking, let me, let me break him off. I'm thinking, let me encourage him and let me ask him, what does he need? I didn't get that from him, so I said that was weak. That's my opinion. No one can take that from me. He said, stand on it, right? He said, stand on what you believe. I'm standing on what I believe. I gave a brief second of my opinion in a video where he made an hour video based off me, which shows me he's had a lot of things on his mind for a long time and he wanted to get it off. And I'm happy that you got it off. I'm happy that we are no longer friends thanks to you letting everybody see how you really feel about me. To I'm think cool. that him going behind my back talking to our jeweler and my jeweler exposing to him what I did, my secrets, and he thinks that that's going to hurt me is actually funny because guess what you did? You just enabled me to not ever have to communicate with that jeweler again. That's weird. You're talking about my privacy to another customer? Wow. Where's the loyalty? I shot with you first. You made a million off me before CJ had a dollar to give to you. So you're weird, Ali. CJ's weird because his whole thing about me is, oh, he's a pillow talker. But he pillow talks to me about everybody, literally. Trying to dig up information, DMing my ex, liking all her pictures, saying join the winning team. Bro, you've always been weird to me. Ever since I seen what you did with Royalty and you tried to denounce it as, we just been cool this whole time. That was cap. Anybody believe that? You're weird. You hanging out with your man's baby mamas who he's beefing with, literally spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to go against in court. Battling, almost got into a shootout with, almost got jumped because she brought six people to kill me. And you siding with her saying, oh, we was cool too. You was never cool with her. She was definitely not cool with you. She used to tell me all the time how fake you was. Like when I asked you to help me with the raffle and you told me to figure it out on my own. So I just quit it because it was your lane and you was mad that I was trying to step into it, which is weird enough. That was, that was one of my reasons for knowing you was a fake friend. That's my Bro, reason for knowing you. When you're trying to be in competition with everybody, that shit only gonna hurt you because a person like me ain't doing bad. You know what I mean? And if you're trying to compete with all your friends, that's the thing about him. You don't want nobody to pass him up. Even people he work with, d and all. Wow. He don't... It is what it is, man. Shit happens. And... Bro can talk about me the rest of his life and say whatever he want to say. I'm done with it, guys. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on. And so whoever don't like me, man, I'm a, I wish you the best. And sometimes you just gotta pray for people, man. But with that being said, I'm but yeah, gonna guys, if you watch those videos, if you're still on here, man, that's crazy, right? They're both going at it. I can tell CJ's not done after seeing all that stuff. Also, CJ's so cool, man. I feel like he's just ranting. CJ on 32s is all calm, chill about it. it, it to me, it, it, it shows that. CJ on 32 is showing more of the truth. CJ so cool is trying to make it like elevated to get the views. He's still all about the views and stuff, guys. Me, I'd be worried about clearing my name. So like, let's get back to where he's saying he's he's broke. Um, I think he is because he's sold. And CJ states in his video, he sold 70% of his YouTube channel. That's crazy. He sold 70% of his brand, which is him, to a company or person, I'm not sure. But in Seoul, I believe what he meant is he took a loan off of it. So in other words, they own that part. If he sold it outright, he's crazy because he's never going to make money on that channel again. He's only going to... It doesn't make sense for someone to make 
of the revenue off of your own name and brand. Like he must've been hurting for money and to pawn off your jewelry. It's stacking up against you, bro. So that's where I'm at with it. You sold 70% of your channel. And that's, I think the real reason why he switched to that new channel is because he, he owns 100% of it. And there's a video, I think I have the video I'm gonna post if I do right here. That's how I was able to manage without posting. Some of you are saying, oh, you must be broke because you ain't posting video. No, when you got the millions, you really, I mean, you can go broke. It don't matter what you got. Look, Mike Tyson went broke. MC Hammer went broke. The list goes on. People go broke that have multi-millions. But I'm just here to say I was never pressed to post because I already had a lump sum of income from selling 70%. Moving forward, if I create a new page, I will, of course, be more motivated to because I will own 100% of that. Once I sold 70% of my royalties, I realized at the time it was a good idea. But obviously, moving forward, I felt like it wasn't the best idea because managing and creating are two different things. Yeah, I have this money and I've been able to manage it and live off of it. But I wouldn't need that if I was being creative. But yeah, right? guys, it's him stating that he sold 70% of it and he's not getting really much off. So he's making another channel to get 100%, which he should have thought of that. And I think a lot of his subscribers are already done with his antics and all that just because, bro, it's like, People get tired of it. And a lot of the people who were sub to you was honestly because of the children, bro. They're the ones that made you who you are. Um, so stay true to you and stop trying to front and do all this. Money make people crazy. And actually, there's some allegations too, which I mean, Bam Man Kevo kind of said it. Wait till the end of the video. But Bam Man Kevo says that he, CJ So Cool has an issue with prostitutes and with gambling, which is gambling part. It makes sense. The prostitutes, I didn't know, which is crazy. But, bro, hey, that's how you lost your family and you're still doing the same stuff. You're your own downfall, bro. Like, that's nuts. Get it together, bro, because after this, there's no out. Like, you better leave that guy's name alone, bro. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, there's another thing I want to talk about. CJ So Cool Mom is digging a bigger hole for both of them, like, mainly for CJ because she talks about Blake one Bake 100. Sorry, I keep saying Blake. But Bake 100, bro, that's crazy. That's one of his childhood friends. I'm going to post that clip right now. Um, but it's pretty much her stating that she knows stuff about him, that he's fake. Like, it, it's crazy. Bake 100 doesn't want to say much about CJ. He doesn't want to get into that. He said it is. Whoever's rocking with him rocks with him. Whoever isn't, isn't. It, that, that's just what it is, which I, I like that. That's, that's, that's cool. I like people like that. He's just leaving it as is. If we got issues, you're on your own, bro. So anyways... Yeah, I'm gonna post that video right now just so you guys can see what That's she said. That's crazy. She said it herself, guys. And let me post the other video right now. It's gonna be about, uh, it's gonna be Bake 100 stating what he's stating because of what the mom has said. He's not gonna speak on much. It's just, I, I, I chopped it up. It's gonna be some clips of him talking about the mom and to like, you know, just respect his name. Um, here's that video, guys. I'm more disappointed in Bake more than 32s, though. I've always been kicking it with Keller, you know, knowing the things that I've been told about that, that young man. Right. Everyone else came from being around him. Right, right. But we live and we learn, right? We live and we learn. When you have people that close to you and then they stab you, stab you in the back like that, that's, yeah. Yeah. I do know some things uh, from my mom, you know, about when I was kids. And yeah, I'm not going to go off into that, but it, when I got friends that I grew up with and to death. Now, my, my, my best friend, she passed away, God rest her soul, um, from cancer. But we was thick as thieves, even though that we moved to two separate states. And was living our own lives. We always stay in touch. And it was never no mess like this. It was never no mess like what CJ going through. All right. No, uh, you have to watch the video. Watch the, uh, not, watch the video uh, about his, his mama said my name in the video. Some, I mean, some live stream. She said my name in the video or somebody that do like vlogs and shit redid it and whatnot. And some vlogs and shit. He don't never he don't never personally say my name. He just said he don't got friends. And that shit be weird to me. But 
like, I thought we was brothers. So I ain't think we was friends. I thought we was right. That was my right hand nigga. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. It wasn't like he dropped my name or no shit in the video. But, watch her lives. Watch her lives, whatever live she she did or whatever. It's on it's on YouTube. And people commented and sent it to me. Whatever. I ain't gonna post it because I'm not giving nobody no views. Go watch it on your own. All I wanna do is clear my name up and then and my y'all don't know what my DMs be on. My DMs always talking about, you know, about what happened with y'all, all this shit. You switched up, I'm fake, I'm this, I'm that. So shit. This one address my address me. Hey guys, all that's crazy, man. There's a lot going off. It's a lot popping off. Um, I'm I'm not choosing sides 100%. I'm more leaning towards CJ on 32s. So all this, what I'm saying has to do with the allegations of him abusing the kids is that he's been getting caught into lies. He's been getting caught in lies and lies and lies. And honestly, he's exposing himself and his mom's exposing him without even trying, without even knowing. So, yeah, guys, it's just it's going downhill from here. Honestly, for him, he he needs to just stop posting about all that and start doing his regular content because he's digging himself a deeper hole, guys. Um, I'm going to save the Bandman Kevo videos and proof and all that for next video, guys, because this one's getting too long. But he talks about prostitutes he talks about gambling he talks about the 70 percent that he sold which shows that hey if cj said it and bandman kevo said it they're talking of some truth why do they have to lie about any of this the only reason all this blew up was because of cj so cool he was dropping names he was saying stuff he said he had no friends he was doing all that he was wild out and at the end of the day guess what so many people can only take so much of it where they're like, we ready you stepped away. Why are you constantly doing this for clout? Stop dragging my name. And that's the reason why CJ on 32s got involved. It's not about him wilding him about being a bad friend. Bro, if you had issues, if you knew he was like that from the beginning, if you knew he was secretly with your baby mom, why'd you stay with them? You could have easily cut him off, bro. Like, ain't no reason for you to keep him around. If you made him, if you took him out that tire shop and stuff, bro, and he was nothing without you. Why did you keep elevating him? Why did you keep... The thing is, a lot of people who are the problem don't know they are the problem. They think other people are the problem. They think everybody else is a problem. And so they finally realize at the end when they're rock bottom that they were the problem. And then they're wondering why no one wants to come and help them. Wondering why, oh, I'm a change man. Bro, they got tired of it. They're gone. Like your whole circle's gone. I would, I would assume that me personally, if that was me, let's just say I would have reevaluated everything, took a step back and been like, damn, let me reach out to all these people. He said, supposedly he reached out to CJ. CJ said on the thing that they spoke, that they were cool. He was going to go to Las Vegas to see him. But then all that crap started happening again. So he was done. After that happened and then you were trying to call him again. Yeah, I wouldn't answer. Just like how you should have done that to begin with. If he was that fake friend. If royalty never loved him. Or, sorry, loved. Liked him. If royalty and them were always constantly battling or stuff. That should have raised red flags to you. And if they were messing around, why'd you bring them around your family? That was on you. Like, you're the reason for your own downfall. And until you learn from it, guys. I, I don't know. Until he learns from it, his career is over with. He just dug himself a grave. So, yeah, guys. Next video, I'm going to be talking about Bandman Kevo. And also, I'm going to be talking about um, royalty. She dropped a video and got some some information. But I'm I'm going I'm to dig up some videos of CJ as well. And I'm going to mix them in with the mix too. I'm going to put them in there just so you guys aren't saying I'm picking one side or not letting him, you know, whatever. He has videos out there if you want to watch it too. But yeah, guys, much love. I appreciate all of you. Um, I think I've covered everything from what I want to cover in this video wait for my next video tomorrow which i'm talking about bam man kevil drops bombs and detail of certain things guys so we'll see hey check out for the next video much love we're out